today's project we're gonna be replacing this burnham boiler it's 30 plus years old has a few issues and a customer wants to just replace it the expansion tank is full roof valve is blown and he also has some uh, problems with this control board which is over three hundred dollars replaced that a few weeks so currently has two zones two honeywell zone valves we're going to be going back with uh, a taco zone control box two pumps so a single pump going back with the burnham 204 natural draft he has a regular conventional masonry chimney don't need a uh, draft inducer motor on it probably going to have to bust up higher and make a new hole or enlarge that and put a five or a six by three by five i will figure it out that's no big deal and redo it all so should be fun the tank all right yeah you don't go slow go fast Oh, that wasn't really bad. You got lucky. Nice and dirty, though. You got lucky, man. Just take that right outside. Just teared her down and got her out. Unboxing time. Yay! Alright, I got the boiler down in the basement. I'm gonna clear this out, put these blocks down there. Um, obviously, the chimney's too low. I have to put a damper, electronic damper, um, five inch elbow. So, we're definitely gonna have to bust up or go in there, which I think that would be better. Since the hole already made, just enlarge it. Um, and we redo everything. Cut it at the ceiling and everything's brand new on the way down. Got a water shut off already for the cold water supply to it. Water's back onto the house. These are probably gonna change. Uh, I just cut them there for now. Probably gonna have to redo all that anyway. Yep. We're getting there. Hard part is getting that old one out and new one in, but I know the junk down here. Yeah, this guy's got some old cars. done So, first floor zone, basement zone, take o zone control, got your relief valve, got auto vent there, um, gauge goes here, this fitting comes with the boiler, drain, water feed, <clears throat> comes from over here, I have a shut off valve, it's piped it and strapped it to the wall, over. 
um, backflow preventer, auto feed, another valve. If you ever have to change that in the future, you can isolate it. That way you don't get water back through the boiler. And you got your valves above and below um, your pumps. That way when you change them in the future, you don't have to drain the whole boiler. Purging station. Um, shut off valve on the supply. It's not really needed, but whatever. Automatic damper, five inch food pipe. We knocked into the chimney up there. Um, put a six by six by four Y and a five by uh, six by five reducer. Pipe down five. Then we put all new food pipe to the water heater. Got your air scoop up here. Your vent. Shut off valve. I like to put those in. You guys know that. See my other work. Makes it a lot easier for the next guy. Just to change this bad boy. Um, got flow controls, three quarter, one, two, um, and she's up and running. All right, this is the temperature of the boiler. You got set point and 180, high limits 180, uh, differential 15 degrees. So it shut off at 180 temperature wise. Uh, if the thermostat's still calling, the circulators will stay on. If it drops down to 15 degrees from that, which is 165, it'll fire back up and continue to do that until the thermostat's satisfied. So it's pretty cool. It even has, uh, let's see. Flame current, run time, this is for how many hours, and boiler cycles, one. So, we are good to go. Put it up on some blocks. Got a half inch gas line. Uh, new gas cock. Gas valve. And then it goes back to three quarter up there. She came out pretty good. This is a uh, an X204 manufactured 0716 and it's 96,000 BTUs. I'm sorry, 105. Well, it is 96. That's what I was reading was the max. I think that's it guys, hope you liked, of course I didn't get much footage, um, it's just been hectic, had to cut the old one out to get it through this doorway, and uh, it is what it is, had to move the boil away from the wall so much because of the Y situation, nothing I can do about that, but he's got Plenty of space. Plenty. Um, check you guys in the next one.